Well, today you find me at RAF Barrow Common, high up on the uh, north Norfolk coast overlooking Burnham Deepdale. Uh, this is a former World War II radar station, chain home low station. Uh, initially came to use in 1940 during the Battle of Britain and went out of service in 1944 just after the D-Day invasion as it was uh, no longer deemed necessary. Initially in a, uh, manned by the Army for two years and then taken over by the RAF and the Navy. And their main mission here was to plot low-flying aircraft coming into East Anglia. And the naval personnel here, they total about four on duty at a time, we're actually here to track ships moving up and down the coast and see which they are enemy, obviously, or friendly, and to report back to their main headquarters. And this is part of a chain of radar stations across the North Norfolk coast, stretching into Lincolnshire, Skindlebury, in fact. Like I say, it went out of use in 1944. The amount of personnel here at any one time would have been over 80, but they were billeted down the hill in a farm just down the road from here. I hope you can hear me, we're uh, out of the wind at the moment, so I'm just going to do some mobile filming of this uh, radar site. I hope you can see all this in the blinding sunshine. I've actually come away from doing my walks and changed the format a little bit to uh, show my interest in World War II defences, buildings, the ones that are still left behind from the uh, Second World War. So. Uh, been influenced by the uh, couple of chaps down in Kent called IKS Exploration. Check them out. Very, very interesting. Got loads of videos, loads of subscribers. Uh, won't be as adventurous as them, but I want to do my own recording of uh, what's left up here, particularly on the North Norfolk coast, and there's quite a lot. So we call this part one. And this is, as I said on the previous commentary, this is RAF Barrow Common, Chain Home Low Radar Station around here. This is the main building. The radar would have sat on top initially, but after a couple of years they actually recited it southeast of here, only a couple of hundred yards away, to a larger radar. And this is the main building where it was all controlled from. If I just pan right here, you can see that in the shadow there, that's the generator room. And as far as I can see these are the only two buildings that are standing, it might have only been the only two buildings that were here during the war as well. Uh, just to let you know, this is actually on a bit of open ground called Barrow Common, funny enough. And it is open to the public, so if you're ever up this way, just look it up. Come for a walk, take your dog round here. As you can see, if I just pan around to the countryside behind me, it's actually really nice up here. And if you can look behind me out there towards the coast, you can see that. Gonna climb up onto the old generator room and see if I can get some better shots. <coughs> Can't get in there by the way, it's all bolted and locked up. Someone's managed to get in through one of the windows on the other side. There's a fine view of the coast there. There is somewhere here four concrete blocks. I've yet to find them, and that's where they recited the radar after 1942. A much bigger setup than it was on top. I think if you shoot around, I can just pan in very gently. The original radar used to sit on top. I don't know if you can see it there. Four little bolts there, there's four lots of them, there's eight bolts there. It's all four corners virtually of the building was the actual base for the original radar. Well, I hoped you uh, enjoyed the first of my uh, forays up on the coast to record some of the World War II structures left standing today, or 
this, this uh, year of 2017. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye. For now, anyway.